would you be with a girl who worked like a McDonald's? Doing what? Flipping burgers. But she's a great person. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Then why, then why wouldn't they? Women overlook the bin men. Women overlook the, the postman. And then they're going to complain when they get dealt with a certain kind of way. But that postman, that bin man could be the most ambitious guy. He's just doing what he's doing for the meantime before he turns a corner oh, and he agree. turns into the greatest man yeah. in the world. So how can I judge her that works in McDonald's? Especially if she's length. You know, certain times in McDonald's, they've got little tight trousers and all of that on. You might see the cool shape when she turns to get you the Big Mac. You understand? Yeah, I'm Pound Sterling, the hustler, they call me Pounds. I'm here to come and see what um, Michelle's got to say for herself today, you know? See what today's got to offer. Definitely a relationship kind of guy rather than a dating, you know? Dating can be a bit, a bit fake at times. You know, she can ask whatever she likes. Anything she wants to ask, she can ask. As long as she knows I'm going to ask some things back as well, we're good. I was born ready, my friend. Let's get this done. Something you good? Nice to meet you. You're not getting up. You're the queen. Yes. Bad, very bad manners. That's a bad start. It's not you a bad got start. Up. You should have got up. That's Why? Bad for you. No, no. It's only it's manners. That's that's just normal common courtesy. The first thing you should do, you get up, greet the person. I feel like normally I would if I was in a standing position, but I'm quite low down, so. I understand. Well, I'm not totally going to hold it against you, but for future reference, you know, you never get a second chance at a first impression. But how are you anyway? Wow, you came on really strong there. He's coming off a little bit strong. What's your name? They call me Pounds. Pounds? Yeah. Why? Where did that come from? Because I'm heavy. Lovely. See all of that? See, it's the little things, you know. She should really have stood up. When someone comes, it's just, just manners, you know? But yeah, she'll learn from that today. That's why I was quick to educate her on that. Do you date often? I'm not really a dater like that, you know? No. I'm not really a dater. You clearly do. Yeah. How are you finding your dating experiences at the moment? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I should compliment you as well. You look very nice still. You look very nice. Thank you, so do you. I like do you. what you're doing here, you know? I'm not going to hold it against you, they're not getting up to We're going to move past that, we're going to you know, start that one go. we're going to let that in, one go. Deep out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, she seems nice enough, you know. Got a lot to say for herself, confident in how she talks. Yeah, she's cool. So what do you do for a living? Um, in life, I try to do what I want. When it comes to work, I try to do the same. I do what I want. Um, I, involve, I involve myself in a lot of different business practices. I, I've got a few things going on. Um, whether it's from gym ownership to podcast to little property stuff here and there and just making sure I keep it moving. You got fingers in a lot of pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely fingering, definitely heavy. You fingering heavy? Pies. Fing fingers in pies, like you said. Yeah. You, know, you got to take your mind away from this. Still, you're doing too much. It's it wasn't mad. me. You said it. That's mad. It, was, it was you. You was said, I'm, I'm fingering. That's what you said. No, I meant definitely fingers in pies, like you said. I you said fingering the, the pies. There, you said, yeah, I'm definitely fingering. So definitely got my fingers in, is you, what I meant. Yeah, you definitely got your let's fingers keep in. It, let's keep it, keep it classy, not brassy. I am a classy, thank you very much. I wasn't suggesting you weren't, oh. I'm just saying let's keep it classy and yeah, not brassy. Yeah, always, classy's better. Always. Yeah, she's a freak, she's secretly a freak, no question. She can try to hold it down as much as she wants, but like, me and her know what's going on in it. Um, he's got a very strong energy from the second he walked in and told me off for not signing up. Um, but yeah, he seems lovely. Where are Absolutely. you from? I'm from South London originally, you know, Lewisham. Lewisham. Yeah, have you heard of it? No. Where are you from? Leicester. Okay, I know Leicester. Do Shout you? out my guys in Leicester still. Shout out the guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you've come from Leicester to here today? Yeah. It's great. I know. I respect it. Did you grow up in Lewisham? I did, you know. What was that like? When you grow up there, you just grow up there and it's, it's your hometown, it's your area. Some people might look and say it's rough. It is rough. You know, a lot goes on. Yeah, it's where I'm from. I love it. Like when I opened my first few businesses I opened them slap bag in the middle of Lewisham because I wanted that there you know for the people them because mm. I do it's my ends I still go back regular and so on and so forth. Did you have a nice childhood there? Yeah 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 I can't complain you know I can't complain. So you grew up nicely in a nice family home? Well, no, this is not a therapy session this is a day you're getting a bit deep now but yeah, well, you family, ask about I think that's very important that. when you're dating someone. Yeah yeah the, the family home was the family home was nice I'm just getting a little you're doing the whole psychology thing and all no, of that. No, Getting no. deep. Yeah, she's going a bit deep here now. Like, it's not a therapy session. No, the family home was... I can't complain in it. No home... No family home is perfect. But I can't say that mine was a, any worse experience than anybody else's. We're just going to scratch the surface on this one. What about your home and upbringing? How was it for you? Yeah, lovely. It's happy? Eventually, yeah. Eventually? Yeah, so we, we... I was born in the Philippines. Okay, that's yeah. nice. And we were really poor. And then we came to England and then it was all right again. What, both your parents Filipino? No, just half. Yes. My mum's Filipino. I used to date a girl with your exact mix. 
Oh, really? Yeah, she was so a... So you dated a Filipino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know they're lovely cool. people? Yeah, yeah, she was a freak. In which way? She was just crazy. She was crazy, bedroom antics, crazy freak. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was on all kinds of stuff. I was younger than her at the time. She introduced me to a whole world I never knew about. She unlocked them for you? She unlocked the doors. I was like, I think I was, met her when I was like 17, 18. She was like 24, 25. It's a bit weird. You think that's weird? Yeah. No, I was, all, I was moving very advanced on my age. At 17, 18, I was living by myself. I had like, a, I had like an apartment. I, I was renting and all of that. So I was You're moving a certain way. At no, 24, I, was, I couldn't imagine dating a 17 year old. That's not right. Okay, but I was a man from, I was a man from them times there. But so. your age says otherwise. You think so? Yeah. Like, there's only so much, like, you could be mature, mm. but mentally, you're still so young. No, mentally, I was very advanced. But you haven't yet lived yet. I, I was living. I lived by myself when I was 16. I know, but still, like, it, me, I moved out when I was, when I was 18, mm. and I thought I was grown. But, mm. like, when I was 24 to when I was 18, it was a drastic change. Yeah, you were growing, but... Like I said, she showed me certain things. Yeah. She showed me certain things. We kind of grew. We're, 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 she was a good person. Looking at you means, reminds me, maybe I should drop her a little one message. And say, how are you? How are you getting on? You're missing her now. M missing is a strong word. Yeah, she keeps asking me about the past and all that. She's obviously got a bit of a... She's one of them. She's got the obsession with the exes and the past and all of that. Like, let's focus in... Let's live in the moment. She needs to live in the moment a little more. What do you look for in a man? Dominance. See how... Go on. I like a man to be a dominant man. I like mm. him to be very masculine. Yes. I feel like a man should lead the way. Okay. And I feel like I couldn't be with a man who didn't have that assertiveness. You're loving me right now, then. Why? Because you just basically described being a nutshell. I do like his energy. He's very masculine, and that is exactly what I look for in a man. She just said she's into the whole... She, she basically just described me in it. She's, she's trying to let it be known that she likes me in it. But... The jury's still out on her. Let's, let's see what she's really all about. So when did you start your podcast? I started the podcast about two and a half, three years ago now. Mm -hmm. Just after lockdown. It was just something I felt to do because I used to do music before. Um, and I just thought it was, it was the right time for it. I looked at the climate of what was going on. I thought it was the right time for it. And I've got a lot of relationships with a lot of people. So I knew I'd be able to get great guests onto my show. Okay. And I know I'm, I'm conversational-wise, I'm a good conversationalist, so I was confident that my conversation with these artists and these actors and whoever else will be better than most people's because of the relationships I have with them and because of the insight I have into the industry. And what do you talk about? Oh, does it vary? It varies, you know. The, the weirdest thing is, my first episode was Where Is Masculinity Gone? Because I felt that's lacking a little piece. So, Very true. Uh, that's what we try to push and lead with a level of a, example and showing people that, that it still exists and trying to encourage men to move in a certain way, women to carry themselves a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have a man with a bit of life experience. Try to avoid the gossip as much as possible because I don't think men should gossip, you know them ones? So I, don't I don't think anyone I should really gossip. Yeah, but sometimes habitually women will just have a gossip in it. It is what it is, but I believe men shouldn't really partake in gossip. So I try not to get involved in it. Oh, have you heard what happened to my man? And da 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 da. I try to avoid all of that. Positive uh, vibes. Positive vibes. Mm. Positive vibes like what we're bringing from you. We're vibing. The energy's good. You can tell, you know, she likes me. She's, she can, she's into it. She likes the aura in that. Do you so. feel like men should date more than one woman at a time? Date? If, if men, when it comes to dating, you can do what you want. Yeah, dating. It's definitely a bit of a player. So you don't think there should be like a level of respect and loyalties from... from Are you talking relationship or dating? I'm about I just dating. getting to know someone like dating. Like if I was to keep dating See, you, yes. should that be now we have certain loyalties to each other and certain levels of respect for each other? Because Absolutely. why am I going to give my but, energy but, to you if you're giving it elsewhere? I think dating is a lot of falsehoods. I think people go on dates and put the best representation of themselves they can do in a short window of time. It's almost like an act. Okay. She's pulling act, he's pulling act. So I'm not really into the dating side of yeah. things. So that's why I answer in that way, car. Anyone can put on that performance. You don't really see the, egg, the, um, the cracks until like a certain period of time when you get to know someone more. But that dating to me is all a performance thing. So that's why when you say dating to me, it's like a joke thing anyway. I don't take it too seriously. Okay, so like getting to know someone, would you like to get to know more than one person at a time? Nah, it's probably best to just get to know one person, I feel, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, some of these women can be kind of, you know, they might be getting to know numerous people. How many people have you got to know this month? None. So during the course of making this show, there's been no one that's really, um, you know, no. Nah, all of you man just got part. <laughs> Do you, you like to date she? within the industry? 
if you were to get to know someone, would you like to be with someone in the industry or? People are people, you know, industry, not industry, works in flipping insurance sales and she's so planning to work, work her way would up. Would you be with a girl who worked like at McDonald's? Well, if she worked at McDonald's? Doing what? Flipping burgers. Has she just come from the Philippines and can't get a better job? Like, we need to know what the circumstances Maybe. are here. Maybe. She's a lovely girl. She's everything that you'd want in a woman, but she, she doesn't want anything else. She's quite happy flipping but, burgers at McDonald's. But she's a great person. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Then why, then why wouldn't they? So you would? Why wouldn't they? Okay. I don't need no woman for bread. Like, we're going we're gonna to level her up. No, but some people think even what their partner does as a career would, would make a difference in how they would view them. Like, they need someone to be proud of, or they need someone to... Yeah, but that's, that's, that's all foolishness. Like, my thing is this. I, listen, I'm, no one's going to go ideally and be like, oh, I want to find this woman that works in McDonald's, or I want to find... But I'm not going to lock that person off or judge her because she works in McDonald's. Like I say, I always say this thing of women overlook the bin men, women overlook the, the postman, and then they're going to complain when they get dealt with a, a certain kind of way. But that postman, that bin man could be the most ambitious guy. He's just doing what he's doing for the meantime before he turns a corner oh, and agree, he turns into the greatest man yeah. in the world. So how can I judge her that works in McDonald's? Especially if she's Leng. You know, certain times in McDonald's, they've got the little tight trousers and all of that on. You might see the little shape when she turns to get you the Big Mac. You understand? Yeah. And all of that. So she, and she's Leng. She just works in McDonald's. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're not going to judge people because they work in McDonald's. I like him. Are you a Leo? How did you guess this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Leo still. So. Mm -mm -mm. So you're feeling the energy, man. All right. I, you know what it is? Oh, I just goodness. always get on with Leos. Okay. So you're saying we're getting on. That's good. That's see, good. I've That's got the, the Leo star sign there. Yeah? Yeah, can you okay. see it? Okay. I can see it. I've got it somewhere on me as well. But have you? I'd have to back off my top and all of that. And it's, it's not that. Not for the first day. Sitting? Are you thinking that? All right. Man, not for the first day. <laughs> too much. Doing too much. Yeah, the eyes don't lie. So what would your ideal relationship look like? It should be caring, nurturing ambitious, loyal. I think loyal is going to be the key here. Yeah. Loyalty is going to be the key. But that's not a big ask. Really? Yeah. You ever cheated on any of your partners? Never. You can look Ever? Away. Ever. She's lying. She's lying. That's very good. I know. Why are you not with them now? Because I just didn't want to be with them anymore. I've never been left. I so always just, broke up. So you just them. woke up one day and you just didn't want to be with them? Do you know anymore? what it is that's, for me? It's um, that's consistency. Loyal. That's not loyal. It's consistency. But I'm just saying, you waking up and not wanting to be with them no more. But it's not, not I just didn't wake up one morning and say, actually, I don't want to be with you, you anymore. You just said, I didn't want to be with them anymore. In the end, yeah, eventually. Is that, would you consider that loyalty? Yeah, of course it's loyalty because I stayed with you. I pushed through. I did everything on my end to try and make everything oh, work. Oh, they let you down. And they just let me down. I so, understand. in the end, am I going to be loyal to them or will I be loyal to myself, you know? I've got to hold myself to a higher standard than that. I understand. You've got children? Yes. How many? Two. Do you have any children? Yes. How many? Seven. How many mums? So you believe that too easy. Why would I have seven children? I don't I've know. I've got two. Well, I've you could two. have had seven. Men have seven. more kids than women No, 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 we're not doing all of that. Okay. Two, 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 two. two. I've got Same two. mum? Yes. That's nice. He's opening up. It's lovely. How old are your children, if you don't mind me asking? Or do you want to say how old the gaps are between the two, if that's better? One's eight and one's four. Okay. It's nice ages. Lovely ages, yeah. Lovely ages. Do you have a type? No. Just the, just the Mine's energy. 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 Mine's energy. If you give me the energy that I need, mm. and I feel like you can maintain what I need as a man, mm. because it's not that I have expectations. I have how I would consider a great relationship. Mm. And if you can match that, then that's, yes. that's all I asked for. Well, that's not much. Fair enough. And also, listen, things happen, you know. Um, relationships fail. I know. It's, there's no perfect formula to this thing. So I've got no issues or judgment with the baby mothers, them. The baby mothers, them, it's all love. They like P. P likes them. <laughs> listen, all in all, she's cool, innit? I so far, I like her energy, innit? She's cool. She's good. So tell me something that nobody else knows about you. Nobody really knew about the Filipino half Filipino girlfriend I had when I was, when I was 17, 18, that was 24. Because of her age? No, because, listen, when I was 17, my, I had girlfriends that were 24. When I was 18, I had girlfriends that were 25, 26. 20, my girlfriend was 27. So as a 25-year-old man, mm. do you think dating an 18-year-old is okay? No. Okay, so why do you think it's okay the opposite way? He contradicted himself. Because I was an exceptional man. Mm, everyone thinks there was an exceptional man. I, I know I, every man I'm with this I'm story. I'm interested in what everyone thinks. But don't, don't, don't you think, think that's a problem? That if a man was doing that with a 17-year-old girl, everyone would call him certain names we all know. But when it's a woman, we overlook it to and be go, fair, you know what, I was a really mature be, man. No, 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 I'm going to be real. But 20 to 26 is nothing. That's fine, I'm 20. 26 I span the block. And See, when 18. I was, I'll be real. When I was 
20, I spanned the block. Because the girls that I used to try to, all right, when I was like 16 and they were like 22 and they were, hey, man, what are you doing? I'm 20 now, ain't it? Like, I'm up. Got my motorbike and that, cars, and they're all coming over. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. As, as but, a young man, you are going to try your but, luck. But as an but older woman... Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying they were right. One of them did tell me she didn't know. I must have told her I was older. Okay. Said, like, so that, but if, if a girl did that to a man, it'd be uproar. Yeah, but we're not doing we're not doing all of that. No, we're but I think we that. overlook that this is actually really unhealthy, and it happens it was very healthy so for me. much, and it's very common that we all just go, "Oh, yeah, it's fine," but it's not fine. It was very healthy for me. Women need to stop going for little boys. Little boys, you know. Little seventeen, you're a little boy. I wasn't a little boy. You was a little boy. Wherever you thought you were, wherever you viewed yourself as higher, wherever you were more mature than me, we raised you were still a little boy. I was big. When I was 17, 18, I was doing a lot of big man stuff. Still a little boy though. When you're a kid, have you got a boy? Of course. So when he's 17, is he your little boy or is he a grown man to you? 17, 18, I'm telling him that you're you're becoming a man now. Becoming? You're a man now. Yeah, becoming a man now. You're not a man now. Yeah, what comes part of becoming a man? Like you're on the way there. I agree. You're not quite a man yet. You've not reached that thing. You've not experienced that and things that set you into your manly mm. hood. You're still growing. You're still learning. I and agree we're with you what you're saying. We're taking advantage of that. I agree with you what you're saying, but with me, it was all very beneficial. I had a great time. For you. So I can only speak for my own But what was she benefiting experience. from having a 17-year-old boyfriend? <laughs> I think that could be kind of self-explanatory in <laughs> What would you do if I was going on a girl's holiday every other month? Why are you going on a girl's holiday every other month for? To travel the world. Enjoy yourself. Would I you be bothered? I won't be around for you when you come back. Why? Why are you going on girls' holidays every other month? If, you're, if you wanted to be with me and I'm your guy, if, you're, if you've got a guy, why would you want to leave him every other month? Why would your girl want to go on holiday with the girls every f month or at all? Any man knows that when your girl's really loving you, she just wants to be around you. She's going on a holiday with the girls because she wants to get flipping gang banged. I hear that, but what if they have like a, they're really trying to explore and they want to go and see loads of different parts of the world? Who's they? The person being you? Yeah, me and my friends. Yeah, then you want to be with your, listen, there's categories for everyone, innit? There's categories. So if you're the chick that's around man that goes on holidays with her girls every month, Cool, innit? Go. You're in your category, so I don't mind. Okay. Go, enjoy yourself with your girls. Have a whale of a time. But you're in your category, though. Just know you're in your category. So you wouldn't be with her? She's in the category. What category is that? We're not going to expose the categories today. Okay. Can't give away too much, game. Okay. but you're but in a category. she's in a category now. 100% so she's, she's not your category. wife anymore. She was never my wife. But I would never choose a wife that would want to do that. Before that, I would know. I'd have already established what category you're in. Okay. That don't mean we can't hang out, whatever. What character are we in? The, you or the girl going No, me right now. We have to explore more and all of that. You can't just give away categories. Oh, stuff. okay. So you, so you're quite thoughtful before you put them in Of course. In you can't just category of some. You could say something now that could make me be like, ah, oh, mm, you're one of them ones. Category. Oh, okay. Okay. But you haven't, you haven't really revealed nothing like that right now for me to category you off. Listen, I don't need to spell it out with the categories. The man them that know the thing know. If you know the categories, you know the categories. What if I let you sleep with other women? In what sense? Like, you're just like, yeah. Yeah. You, but go ahead, sleep with whoever you want. Yeah. For what reason? For your, for what, why? I don't know. Maybe say we're in a relationship. Mm. We've been together for a while. Mm. Your sexual needs are a lot more intense than mine. Mm. And I don't want you to not be satisfied. So I say, look, babe, just go and get it elsewhere. I can't keep up. So you feel you just couldn't carry the workload? Yeah, I wanted to share it, offload it to someone else. You wanted to share it? If I wanted to share it. It's a bit strange really, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit off key. She's a freak, bro. Why does she want men to go and sleep with other girls for? I hope that was just, I hope that was just a general question because uh, if your girl's telling you go sleep with other girls, unless she's a real freak, there's a problem there, trust me, because them girls, they do not want to share you if they love you. He does know what he's talking about though, to be fair. <sighs> Uh, that's a that's a strange one. I've never I've never really heard that before, because when it comes to gal being around myself personally, in my experience as a man, if anything, they just want it all for themselves. They don't want to share nothing. So for someone to want to just give away, there's obviously a problem there somewhat. You know, more time you lot are gonna try and bend over backwards to try to make sure you accommodate and keep that man satisfied. If your woman's saying to you, you go be with someone else, there might be a problem. Unless she's just very 
sexual and that might turn her on in some kind of way? Does that turn you on in some, any kind of no, way? No, absolutely not. Okay, so it's a trick question then. So, so no, if it's not a sexual thing where you want to see a man laying down another woman, then no, we're not going to... I'd be very... That's a... Um, what do you not say? Red flag. Red flag. So red you flag. wouldn't go and entertain another woman if you... If I said she'd babe, go and have sex with someone else. For one, I wouldn't like the fact that you're telling me what to do and all of that. Why are you telling me to go and have sex with someone else for? I don't like that. But um, no, I would be, I'd probably have more of an issue with you. Okay. What would you do if I slept with one of your ops? Before me? Yeah. That's a mad question, bro. That's a mad question. And when do you tell me this? At what point? When I figured out who he was to you. Are you wifey? Yeah, like whole wifey. Ah, <laughs> no, it's, it's done. It's done. It's over. <laughs> You're breaking up with me. It's over. Why? My ops can't have one up on me in anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never that. Never that. God, he feels strongly about that one, doesn't he? How's that a one up though? Because you have me now. Yeah, but they just, you was a f to them and your wife but what to if me. I lost. They, what if they was? I lost in the exchange. What if I was their girlfriend? Then I would have known, I should have known that already. Somewhere down the lines, I would have probably what worked out. What if we were seeing each other? Yeah. And they wanted to pursue things further, but it just wasn't like that for me. And then I met you. But you already gave them the pum pum though. I know, true. So it's an it's a L for me. They win in, in the exchange. So they you're going to break up with me? Unfortunately. No matter how much you loved me and thought that this was forever, you're going to break up with me? My heart will heal. Over the past? I don't want to lose a game of noughts and crosses. I don't lose Connect Four. But now you're going to lose the love of your life. My love of my life wouldn't have been freeing up the pom-pom to the ops like that. She would have had better judgment. She would have had much better judgment than that. I'd have done scrutinised everything about her. She, she wouldn't have, no, she wouldn't even be around my, my op like that. My, op, my ops ain't going to be the kind of gal, the kind of guys that will get the same kind of females that, that I'm going to get or that I'm going to have long-term interest in. So no, you slept with him, you've gone down several categories and now because you've gone down to that category, you can't be in the category you would have been to be my wife. So now you're out of it, easily disposed. Because them certain categories are easier to dispose of. <laughs> Fair enough. He keeps talking about all these categories. He won't tell me what the categories are. He's just put in these things in different categories and I'm really a little bit confused. What would you do if I proposed to you? What's the circumstances in this proposal? Oh, obviously I wanted to get married. Of course, you but... You were taking I'll... too long. So I What's set up long? like a really too nice... Long? Too long for whatever the woman no, wanted. Not, we're not doing all of that. We're not doing all of that. I'm going to tell you, don't do that. Don't do that. So you wouldn't accept my proposal? No. You're going to embarrass me in front of all these people? You shouldn't have invited people here. You should have had a conversation with me. I did it in public. So now you're no, but no one arm. communicates about a proposal. You wouldn't you're go and tell your wife. You, you would know me well enough to know. Don't do, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. I don't mind a scene, you know? I don't mind making a scene, you know? You're going to make a scene? It's, you, you're going to make a but scene when I tell you... what if you wanted to marry us? So wouldn't you just say yes? You're not proposing to me. There's roles, innit? I'm going to... I'll do that. Don't worry, I'll do that, innit? When the time is right, everything's in order, we've sorted it. Of course I'm going to turn to the woman of, that woman of my dreams and be like, listen, it's time, but I don't want you to propose to me. Okay, so you, you know? no woman needs to propose to you? No woman will need to propose to me. It's the, when, I'll, would that I'll turn you that. off of a woman if she did propose to you? So it wouldn't turn me off. I understand. My woman should want... Why, why would I want to be with a woman that don't want to marry me? There's wanting to marry you and there's getting a ring, going down on one knee and proposing to you. Yeah, but what's she doing all that for? I can't even imagine a woman doing that. What's she doing all that for? Get up. What are you doing? I really do rate his masculine energy. What about you? Do you like proposal times? What do you want? An expensive wedding ring? Not necessarily wedding ring, engagement ring. You want an expensive engagement ring? What are we talking? Right. Let's talk figures. Figures. Roughly. I don't necessarily think there's a figure. It's all relative. Mm. So they would all depend on who I'm with and, and the income. Mm. But to me, a ring isn't just a ring, it's a statement. Right. It's a statement. Mm. Like, a man will blow 50 grand on a watch. Mm. And that's a watch. But this mm. is the person you're supposed to be with for life. If you could spend 50 grand on a watch, I want more on my ring. Do you understand? I hear you. Because now, if I have a ring on my finger, and it's like this massive diamond, men aren't coming to talk to me anymore. They're going to look at my ring, and they're going to say, I can't compete. I'm not in that category. I can't go anywhere near this woman. That's a statement. And it's a statement for women. They're going to look at my ring and say, he loves that girl. Do you know how many? Do you know how many women with 50, 60 bag rings get laid down by the personal trainer that with the Oyster card? I don't think someone's paying 60 grand for a ring if they feel like their girlfriend's going to cheat on them. Of course, there are men that will do that. Well, then that's them. A man could wrap some. A man should be able to, yeah, buy a ring for whatever cost. Whatever cost. Sterling silver, maybe. Maybe not even. Don't even wear silver. Well. We're, we're just using it as an example okay. because it's symbolic. It's symbolic of the love. 
Because the, I don't, I don't, no, a the wedding love, ring is symbolic of a love. That's why the, right, the wedding, wedding ring could right, be anything. Wedding ring, but why does it have to be expensive? Yeah, she's on the money thing, see? It doesn't have to be do you think, expensive. Do you think you're, it you're, has to be the one of the most expensive things that you would invest your money into. That's I what understand. I'm saying. If you'd but spend 50 this, grand on a watch... I hear you, but do you understand that the money of it's not important? Because your cousin, back in the Philippines, you hold think tight. she... Hold tight with the hold family tight, back yeah. up in the Philippines. Thank you. You think they're not happy and grateful just for a little humble ring? Of course they are. But so, guess what? So I'm not come, them. So I came know. out of the slums. <laughs> oh, Sorry, so that's what we're doing now. I left that's the slums. Doing now. Okay, yeah? fair enough. And I worked hard. Materialistic is like you want fancy things all the time. You want the expensive things all the time. I don't care about expensive things all the time. There's just one thing to me. And like I said, it's a statement piece. It's not necessarily about the money. It has a lot of meaning. I think people don't realise how much meaning an engagement ring you're, you're asking that person to spend the rest of their life with you. So, but I'm just saying, do you agree that if the love's strong enough, it doesn't matter about the cost of the ring? The ring, the cost of the ring doesn't matter. That's why I said it's all relative to how much you earn. But would you be with a guy that can't afford a ring? It depends on what, have we been together a long time and, do you know what I mean? If I met someone now, I'm not going to get with you. You know you're not going to be with a guy, you've really... So no, not now. I'm saying if I'd been with a guy for like the last 10 years and he mm. couldn't afford a ring, but I'm already there, I'm already in that relationship. I'm not now going to go with a man that can't buy me a ring. Okay. Well, Whereas yeah. if I was going to no. and he earned two grand a month and the most expensive thing he's ever bought was something that was £500, then my ring just has to be more the, one of the most expensive things he'd spend his money on. It could be £600, but that's the investment. Do you understand? So, the, so I understand. All right, I get where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, it just needs to be one of the biggest investments of your life. Wow. Yeah. Because okay. that's a woman. With every man mm. that's successful will always say, I would not be here if I didn't have this woman by my side. And they, women, as well as they are lovely and they are your partner and they're people to spend life with, they're an investment. If you invest into your woman and if you invest into your man, mm. they become a great version and they can help you elevate. So what are you giving me for my 60 bag ring? Everything. What's everything? Everything that you needed. So why are you the greatest investment? Why must this be the... I'd, so some man might say, you know what? We could break up next year. Yeah. You're giving me back the ring? Of course. I don't want it anymore. Oh, you are fully giving it back? Oh, yeah, of course. We're not together anymore. I don't want your ring. I don't need that statement anymore. Because to me, it's not the money. It's the statement. Look at her now. She's getting emotional. Just calm down, innit? Listen, it's all good. You're in a safe space. No judgments here. See, if I'm marrying a woman, yeah? A ring is the least. If I'm marrying a woman and I've chosen to marry you, yeah? That shows that I've really, like, we've really been through stages and processes where I know you're great, you're perfect. Yeah. You're like, to get to that stage, you've got to be A1. Everything's sorted. There's no ops, X, all of this bullshit. There's none of that shit. Everything's patterned. I'm looking to give you the world because you've obviously earned it. Yeah, you've obviously facts. deserved it. You're looking to give you the world. But because you ask for it, you're not getting it. I hear that. That's how I operate. You're but not getting not, the ring. It's not that you I'd ask for and it. I wouldn't ask you Because you for asked a ring. and said what you wanted from the ring yeah. and put a figure on it and all of that. I didn't You've just figure. dropped down a category. I put it in retrospect. You've gone down a category now. I put it in retrospect. You was almost there. You was this no, close no, no, to no, it no, all. No. But then you come because and talk about you want a ring. So now I'm about to drop you down a category. But I you're not explained my viewpoint on why the ring is so important. You were close. Because when you're the wife, the wife, wife, you're going to get the ring. You know what you're going to get more than the ring? You're going to get the... Hold on, calm down. You're being emotional now. <laughs> right. You'll get land and title. Rings is the least. You'll get all of that. I'd yeah. sign, I'd sign land and title over to you and say this house is yours because that's how much faith and belief I've got in you. The and, I, and I would walk away from this house if need be because it's probably going to be me that must have effed up. And you can have all of that. But imagine there was something it. that you you're for the ring. that you thought highly of Category. in your relationship. Yeah, whether so it be you, a ring or anything. Yeah, to me, a, a ring is a big statement to someone. And that's just so how I So it's just something I you really it. feel? I feel that, you yeah. You shouldn't have said the price thing, though. You shouldn't have said the price. But I've explained the price thing. It needs to be it one of the biggest investments. I also said if you... If Why has it got to be one of the biggest, biggest investments? Why don't you say, let the biggest investment be something nice for our children? That should be the biggest investment. Why not Because that? that's your woman. Why would you not want to invest so into your So I must woman? put my woman above the children? Your woman always comes before your children. In, in, what, in what world is that? What? Always. So your man will always come before your children? My husband. Your husband will come before your children. Not necessarily come before my children in so all aspects. Your... But like, you know when you, you serve the dinner, you serve here. your partner, you serve the dad, then you serve the children, right? You need to get some consistency. Because he's the man of the house, right? I agree, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's how it goes. So in a certain Some aspect... Some men run it the other way and say, feed the kids first. But I know what you're saying, though. But 
traditionally, yes. the man will get fed first. Yes. The man comes first. Like he has the final word. Yes. Then your children get. Yes. So it's not that your man comes before your children or you hold yes. them to a certain level. Mm. But if my children are saying something and my partner is saying something, my husband has the final say because mm. these are children. They're Absolutely. not my partner. And but guess what? These kids are going to grow up. They're going to live their own life. My husband is till I die. Do you understand? Mm. He's there for the, my whole life. So I will be on his side. I think the kids should come first. As a dad, you're gonna, a, dad's, a dad's life is all about sacrifice anyway. A good dad's life is all about sacrifice. So why would that be any different? Yeah, the kids, put the, make sure the kids are all right. That's the priority. What would you do if I couldn't cook? What do you mean, why can't you cook? I just never learn. It's really bad. Can you cook? Yeah. But what tell would me, you if I tell couldn't me five cook? of your best dishes. I Don't say spag bowl. I can cook everything. Well, give me five dishes then. No. See, that's, you can't cook. Ah, uh, yeah, she's one of them. She's one of them. I knew it. I knew it. It would be a struggle because I like to eat. Mm -hmm. I like to eat a lot. I like to eat well. You know, again, depends. Categories. You might get away with it because you, you excel in other areas. Okay, you so you could overlook it depending on what kind of woman she was all overall. And the category. And the category. Because if she's excelling in... Some girl a bedroom girl, not kitchen girl. Okay, so if she was a bedroom girl, you could overlook the fact that she wasn't a kitchen girl. If she's the category. Compromise. Category thing. Compromise. Mm. And she might, yeah, make it up in other you know? But she can learn. You can learn. There's no excuse for women not to learn to cook, you know? No, I agree. Because that can be a compromise in the beginning, but a woman can learn to cook. Children will need to eat. What are my children going to eat? Yeah. So, yeah, girl fella. But, but can't just be around for your, you know, living in restaurants and... And you cooking. Can I cook? Yeah. Well, of course I can cook. Would you cook? If she couldn't? What, cook for her? Yeah. No, we're not doing all of that. While she sits there and what, watching football. This is not role reversal. We're not doing all of that. No. I know men that do all that kind of shit. Listen, if I'm making some food and you're about, yeah, I'll chef up, but you want something to eat? Boom. But we're not going to make a habit of me cooking for you or you sitting there with your, with, your, with your mouth open like a flipping hummingbird waiting for me to feed you. We're not doing that. You're going to get up, learn to cook, grab two cookbook and learn to cook. We're not just going to sit there like that. What are we doing here? <laughs> Let's not lose certain traditional aspects. Find yourself in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, you have to compromise in a relationship where it's never going to work. What if we were getting to know each other and I said, I'm really thinking about doing an OnlyFans? You can't stop some... Free will is an amazing thing, isn't it? You can't stop them from doing what they want to do. So if, if you're determined, that's what people need to understand. You could meet a chick here and she's determined she wants to do certain things and guys are trying to change them. I'm not going to try and change no chick. I'm going to listen and see what you want to do. And if this is something you really want to do, go on and do it then. You understand? Categories. Wow. You're not going to pursue anything further with no, me. No, we can still chat. You're but you're category. not going to be in a relationship with me anymore. Categories. Which category would I go in? I told you, we can't name the categories on How this. How many day. categories is there? There's categories. Okay. The man, them know what I'm talking so about. So you wouldn't wife someone who has OnlyFans? Categories. She's not in the wife category. Ex OnlyFans, current OnlyFans, or about to do OnlyFans. What are we talking? All three. Categories. You think I'm going to write off all the OnlyFans girls? Come on, man. We're outside. Shout out all the females doing whatever you do and how you do it, you know? And there's no judgment here. So it's a judgment-free space. Get to the bag how you want to. But let's look for a way out at the same time because you can't be busting it open for the whole of your life. You've got to work out something else, you know? Titties are going to start to sag and all of that. I know you can get them lifted, but how many times are you going to rinse and repeat? Must be more to you than just your gaps. It's like, it's, it's sex work, isn't it? Like really That's what people tell me, you it's know. Sex work. I've heard that talk. Now, people you're, say it's sex work. You're selling yourself sexually. Mm. Whether you're actually having sex or you're selling yourself sexually, it is sex work. I don't have a problem with anyone who does it. Mm. Me personally could never, ever do something like that because I wouldn't want my body out there for the world to see. Mm. I feel like there's levels of respect I hold for myself that I wouldn't want people to have that image of me or people be able to see me in a certain way. And there's a lot of insecurities for people that do that kind of work. I'd say, I'm a man that says each to their own, innit? Like, yeah, facts. I, I know Gallup like do all kinds of stuff. I don't judge them. I have friends that are in all kinds of, female friends that do all kinds of stuff, you know? So I would be talking to them and saying like, what's the plan long term? Let's look at an exit plan. But even with an exit one. plan, that's forever. What's that exit plan forever? Even if you have oh, an exit plan. Oh, because they've done it and it's you've out done it. forever. It doesn't matter if you've done it, you do it, you're going to do it. If you put that up, No, I hear you, but I, I am not... Captain Saberhole. I cannot help no, all of no, these no I can only, I can only be like, I won't totally discard you because of that. But as for personally, with me and my life, categories. Yeah. What if I went to prison for two years? Okay, where? What did you do? Assaulted someone. 
Okay, but what are you asking me? What if you went and what? Where? What are you going to do? We're in a relationship. Oh, we're in a relationship. Yeah, we're together, and now I've gone so to jail for two So you're years. saying, see, if my wifey, proper wifey, mm -hmm. my girl that I've been with for how long, yeah. and something happens, and she goes, I'm holding down for her, man. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. What do you need? You're gonna hold it down. Make sure, of course. You're not gonna wifey. cheat. It must be a madness that's gone on for her to be in this situation. You understand? I'm devastated. I wish, I wish I could jump in the position for her. Take, take that two years for her. Or you'd rather bad for her. It's wifey, bro. Did you not wait? I just said I'm giving her a land and title, bro. Like, she's done all sorts. She's proven herself through the test of time. So now she's found herself in this predicament. Something obviously must have gone on that's way out of character for this to happen. Yeah. You understand? And that is very respectful. And that's what you need in a man. Loyalty, stay by your side, ride it out for you all day long. That is beautiful to hear. Yeah, of course. I'd, I'd, I'd hold it down for her because... For you to be in that position of I'm calling you my girl, I'm, you've proven yourself. So I, of course I would do more. I would do everything I can within my means. You're lucky I'm not trying to do a Michael Schofield. It's only that I can't get into this. Do you understand? Uh, <laughs> let's that. be real. Come on, what if he's in? Come on. That's a great answer. So you would stay loyal as well. Of, of course, man's loyal, isn't it? Loyal. Mm, loyal. Capital Two L. Two years, small stretch. Say again. Two years, small stretch. Listen, when she comes up back, when she comes out. I'm about, I'm here. Taking a salon, everything's getting done here, everything's getting patterned, she's gonna look amazing. Best fresh back, body's gonna be looking good because she's gonna bear, bear squat she's doing in there and keeping herself right for me before she comes out. We're gonna go shopping immediately. All of that. She's nice, I'm here for her. Love that. Come on. Do you DM women on Instagram? That's not my thing. No. That's so how would you thing. approach a woman that you liked? I don't really do all of that. No, no, we're not sliding in the DMs. We're not doing all of that. That's not our style. We're not going in the DMs. No? Women, I spend more time like avoiding women that are chasing me than chasing women. It's not Okay, really so what thing. if you saw one and she really caught your eye and you watched her for a while and she was someone that you wanted to pursue? How would you shoot your shot? I'll introduce myself and connect and leave it at that. And we'll cross paths another time. If on DM? Be. When you say like the look of someone, you mean on Instagram? Online, yeah. And oh, no, I fuck all of that. You can, you can be scrolling all day and see people you like the look of. As a human, you know, I'll appreciate that physical form. I think, oh, she looks good, whatever, whatever. And then we keep it moving on to the next one because there's so many people out there. We're not going to be that another guy in the, looking thirsty in the DMs. We're not doing that. Classy. Keep it classy. You might get a DM from me if you're a female and you're doing well. You might get a DM from me of encouragement saying, yeah, I see what you're doing. I really appreciate it. Da, 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 da. Carrying what you're doing. I'm not sliding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be clear. I'm not. I'm just letting you know you're doing well. Keep going. I see what you're doing. Keep going. I know it's not easy. You might get something like that yeah. and move on. That's very respectful. But no, 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 Pounds ain't doing all of the DM thing like that. Okay. Right. Why are you we were tapping, tapping, looking on? Waiting for you to answer. So you're not going to raise a card? Yeah. Right, we're not going to answer that. We're not going to do that. No, no, I'm not answering that. We're not doing that. Because... You can look at me and make a decision for yourself, innit? Whether you think I do or don't, but we're not going to lower the tone. Like I said, we'll keep it classy, because you see what happens now, yeah? Because now you've said and you've made the world know that you give head. Now there's out there, you know, there's having images of you, you know, getting teabagged, balls in your mouth, gargling wow. balls and all of that. Okay. If they're blessed like me, it's going all across your nose, up across your forehead. It's mad. Mm. Gagging, eyes watering, streaming. Wow, it's mad. Really that's what you're. No, but that's what I'm saying. Not me. Not me, but that's what people are envisioning now because we live in perfect times. They're picturing all of that. So that's why I'm not going to partake. They're all thinking all that madness, man. Just, you know, clapping on the side of the head with a, with a cocky and all of that. It's wild. That's what I'm saying. So that's why we're not going to answer that because we're not going to partake in it. Okay, I respect that's a, that. A, a, let's, Very respectful. let's keep it classy. As we say, let's keep it classy. So you're not answering? Not answering. Because I'm telling you, people are having those visuals. I don't. It's that one. No, that one there. No, I don't. You don't know about that one? No. Them men are petting you still. Petting you? Yeah, they're petting you. They're being a bit too light with you, you know? Oh. Let's be, like you said, you like dominance, right? Yeah. Mmm. It's a couple. <laughs> See, you like that, innit? You like, look at you swear, <laughs> look at you swear. That's right, that's them, just conking you on the side, that's just, get, just tap you on the side of your head with a, with a cocky. You're going to put them things out to the world, all anyone's going to think of is on the side of your face. I don't know which one you're going with. Yes and no. Why? Go on, explain. I could be friends with women, innit? Mm-hmm. But many men can't. 
Okay, my, why? My woman don't really need to be having no man friends like that. No friends for what? You've got me in it. Why does everyone say I can't have any male friends? So you can have friends that are women. Yeah, of but course. your girlfriend couldn't have friends that are men. She can if she if she if she says to me, "Listen, that's my friend. I need to have him around me. He's my good friend." I'll understand. Go hang out with your friend. You're not hanging around with me. So she'd have to pick. I just made the decision for her. She can go. But with what friend. if you met him? several times and you're really comfortable and you thought, Do you know what, actually? I'd be comfortable anyway. No yeah. boy ain't a threat to me. I'm not insecure, bro. There's nothing that's going to budge me from my standpoint and where I think. Why do you need man friend for when you got me? For what? Maybe they've been in a life a whole life. Yeah, they can still. Then you're going to check in a one little text or Saturn call yearly. Yeah. Saturn, so you're still friends. How's it get? Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's fine. But what do you need man friend what, to what? To be complaining about me so and having what conversations? So what do you need women that? friends for? I know a lot of females. Okay, and she might know a lot of males. So why is there a difference now? Because it's me in it, and I do what I want. Listen, I do what I want, you know. I'm my own man. I do what I want. I do what I feel. He's a hypocrite. Okay, but what if she <laughs> wants to do what she wants? Why what if she says, right, if you want to have girlfriends, cool, you go and hang around with them, and she leaves. Oh, if you want to leave, go. Go, go, go. But what if you really love this person? Go. You'd pick your girlfriends over this, this woman? No, any woman who wants to leave me, just go. Okay. Go, go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with you because. What well, do you want to leave me? If you if you, but then if you love me, you don't want to leave me. Last. So if you want to leave, me, why? Because I'm saying go. If you want to leave me. But then you already left her for having a male friend. You didn't. I didn't leave her. Yeah, you I gave did. Her, I said to her like, listen, you, said, you don't I need that friend. I made the choice for you. I said you don't need that friend. Why do you need man friend for when you've got me? But then what do you need a woman friend for if you've got me? Give me an example. Let's talk example. See, to me, I, know a lot of I think they can here. be friends. Men and women can be friends, happily. You can be friends. Yeah, facts. I already said yes and no. But, yeah. what, but what are you doing with your friend? Like, what's the... What? Are you like... What? We're gonna go, you're going to go and watch films at his house? No. Then what then? I don't think so. You're going to go and meet up for a drink? To be fair, I only really say my male friends on occasion. So, like, my kids' birthdays or their birthdays. Yeah, those... those then, and what, yeah. they're there with their girlfriends and all yeah, that? Yeah, they'll go with their yeah, girlfriends or their that's wives. A, that's, an entirely, and, that's an entirely different conversation. Or that, maybe we'll go catch up, we'll go for a drink. You, the man, or you, the man, and the, and the female? Me, the man. And maybe me, the man, and the female, if she's present and she's available. But me and the man might go and have a drink and say, Listen, oh, I'm, we'll very, I'm very much live and let live. It just depends, innit? It just depends. just depends. In my experience, when a woman's really into you, she's not even wanting to hang around with no other men. Yeah. Like really and truly, from my, from my experience, I haven't had that experience yet. Okay. To have to make that big call and that big decision, you know? But don't just walk out. Don't just walk out? What, yeah. me? Yeah, no, yeah. I wouldn't just walk out, but she, you said she wanted to leave. If you're leaving, leave. Okay. Yeah, you have to compromise in a relationship where it's never going to work. So, have you had a nice day today? It's been great. I've enjoyed spending time with you, you know, we've had a nice conversation. It's been nice, you know? Is it your Good favourite date? You. Huh? Is it your favourite date? Let me, let me marinate. Let me, we're going to talk on this. Let me marinate okay. on that. Favourite's a big word, you know. Have yeah, you yeah, found yeah, a category yeah. for me yet? You're, you're doing all right. You've kept it classy. I like that. Well, that's good. There's a lot of positives, you know? Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. It's been lovely. Have you enjoyed your date? Yeah, I had a lovely date. Well, that's what I like to hear, you know? Don't go off on camera and say something different, you know. Let's keep it. I won't. Yeah? It's lovely. Because you know, I think we, I think we had a nice time, nice conversation flowing, all of that. Cheers. Salute. Should always make eye contact when you cheers for future cheers. reference. That was very bad of you. So the date was actually really lovely. It was really refreshing to see a man in such in his masculine, but not aggressively and not trying too hard to be in his masculine, just naturally there. And he's tall, which is always great. You know what? I like her still. She's cool. She's a good person. She came across okay. Contradicted herself a little bit, you know, on the whole material, material thing. But all in all, I can't knock her, man. She came, she looked tidy. She carried herself with a bit of class. Yeah, we, it can work still. I wouldn't see him again in a romantic way. Just because I feel like not everything was aligned the way I'd want it to be for someone that I'd want to settle down with. However, there was a lot there that did tick a lot of boxes. In what capacity? Go on another day. No, 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 we're not doing all of that. She's nice. We're just going to leave it at that. We'll bump into each other again, I'm sure. I hope she does win in life. I'll check in on her maybe. But, you know, we're not going to do the whole romance thing and all of that. It didn't, it weren't really that kind of energy for me right now. And he handled it well. He came back with some great answers. If she gives me any less than eight, she's capping. He was one of my favourite dates. Yeah. We got along really well and we had very similar views with a lot of things. Um, he said some things that really stuck out, which I've not heard from anyone else. 
So I'm going to give him a nine. Nine? Yeah, a oh, nine. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the best one so far. 